next up, so we've been talking about integrations, modules, some custom scripting and so on, but our next speaker is going to talk about how you can use the native, out-of-the-box Zabbix front-end features to monitor any kind of application or any kind of service. So let's see how we can use those out-of-the-box functions and features. So let's welcome our next speaker, also from Brazil, Vic Merman from Unireda company. Welcome. Okay, let's start. Hi, everybody. I'm going to talk about advanced automated data collection in Zabbix using only front-end features. Let's uh, introduce myself. My name is Murman. I work for Unihead in Brazil, and I'm one of the official Zabbix trainer here in Brazil. Just telling about me, more than 15 years experience in the IT area, specialized in open source, open source softwares like PFSense, Linux, FreeBSD, Zabbix, Samba, Zimbra, and others. Uh, let's start, and I would like to leave a question for everybody. How to collect data in application level using only front-end Zabbix feature? That's the question I would like to leave. And uh, just telling about this, we know some Zabbix versions ago, would, uh, I would say that it was impossible uh, because we had to use some custom scripts to do that. But now in Zabbix 5, we have uh, advanced uh, data collection features out of the box in the, in the system and uh, uh, it allows us to do it in a much easier way. And in the next minutes, I will show, at least in my opinion, the most important Zabbix uh, features that we have. And uh, I will show a practical scenarios using those features. Okay. Let's start with the features that I'm going to use. The first is the HTTP agent item. Before Zabbix 4, we used to use a custom bash or Python uh, script using curl to get data from an external HTTP website. But now uh, from Zabbix 4, I think, we can do it uh, out of the box. Okay, this is a very important feature that, uh, that we have in Zabbix. And with HTTP checks, uh, we can, uh, we don't need any agent uh, to collect this information. It's a very easy uh, way to collect uh, information from any application you can imagine. Okay. Let's go to the second important feature for me. That is the preprocessing. Okay, and my opinion is the most important Zabbix improvement ever. Okay, because this feature has been improved a lot in the last, uh, I think, three LTS versions started from 3.0, I think. And just to remind, uh, preprocessing where we we'll be able to extract uh, and uh, organize different structures of data without any script. That's the thing, without, without any scripting. And uh, we can use the preprocessing with dependent item. That's the thing, it's a perfect combination preprocessing and uh, dependent item. Okay, that's the second. Let's go to the third important feature that we are going to use is the dependent item. A, né, it allows a book match collection né, and simultaneous use in a several related items. Né, and uh, we are going to optimize the data collection because how you, né, everybody can see, we're going to have just one single connection to the application and the Zabbix will organize inside all the information. Uh, and with this way, we, we are going to optimize the, the data collection. Let's go to the fourth 
um, future, the last one, uh, is the discover use dependent items. The advantage of this future is to combine book match collection with LLD prototypes. Uh, all the low level discovery data comes from a master item uh, uh, and uh, is a very smart way to treat the data uh, because you have just, how I said before, uh, just one single uh, request left in the application and with just single request you are, you are be able to populate all the prototype items uh, and get all the data and we use the master item, dependent item, low level score, pre-processing, everything together and that's the what I am going to show everybody. Let's go to the practical scenario, just tell you about uh, COVID-19 in Brazil, uh, that's what I'm going to extract the, this information, we have more than uh, 150,000 people die here in Brazil uh, and Brazil has the second uh, highest coronavirus death too in the world after USA and the third highest number of the cases after USA and India. The country also has passed 5 million of infections early this week. Então, then we are going to collect Brazilian COVID-19 statistics using only a bit front-end features. Okay. Let's go first to the source of information. What is the information? The information is now website. Just let's, let's uh, show very quickly this website. We can access this website. It's public, okay, and uh, it's not JSON format, divided in each state. Okay, each state has three or four metrics uh, for each state. Okay, let's go to the presentation again. Uh, I divided the process of configuration in three steps. Okay, the first step we I create a host called Brazil with a low level discover HTTP agent template with a host prototype inside. That prototype is the for the creation of the hosts that will represent the information of each Brazilian state. Uh, it means that we are going to have one host for each Brazilian state with the information for that state. And the second uh, uh, step, that host was created by the low level discover in the, the other step. This host has a template uh, with a low level discover two, but uh, this low level discover um, uh, item will get the data only uh, for each Brazilian state. It means each host has the information of uh, each state, okay? Which means the host will organize the information for each state. Let's go to the configuration. The first is a host called Brazil with that template has one low level discover that gets the information from, uh, from that uh, website with the, the, the information using HTTP agent uh, to get the list of the states. Okay, with this website, we are going to get the list uh, of the Brazilian states. And the list will be stored in this LLD macro called state. Okay. And I got uh, as well the UF, which means federal unit, okay, the information, the, the federal unit in the LLD macros, okay. This will be used, this macro, to create the hosts, okay, we're going to create, we have one host prototype, just show very quickly in the real scenario, we have the Zabbix, we have the host called Brazil, we have one low lab discover and this low lab discover access the website 
with the least of the states and this JSON path I will start in the LLD macro called state okay and we are going to use this LLD macro here state to create one host for each state look and we are going to create the host using that macro and use this template to collect the data from each state okay this is the first process after this process after this process we have the list of the state uh, states the list of the hosts created by the low level discover uh, with the template just show in the real scenario in the zabbix look i put every host all the hosts in a group called brazil that's the group oh, look oh we have 26 states more one federal district brazilian 27 the total um, with that template then go to back in the presentation we have in this in each host we have a http agent master item that we collect covid19 data and a low level discovery use a dependent item that's the the, the thing we uh, we're going to use a master item and a, a low level discovery using dependent item okay i'm sure and each state will get all information from that state number of the cases, deaths, discarded, and suspects. Okay. Uh, this is the master item, just explain the this is the master item. And uh, you see the master item get the information, the same website, raw information. So then I have a low level discover using that item master item okay and i will start again two json paths two macros lld macros state and uf federal unit uh, in this case i will explain i need the uf because the key prototype key item prototype key doesn't allow special characters and the, the name of the states in Brazil have special characters. That's why I had to uh, collect as well, the LLD map called UF, because UF uh, don't have special characters. That's the, the low level discovery called SCOB status, that low level uh, discovery is using a master item, using a master item and it has a filter a filter called state because each state will have information for uh, 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 information for that state it means when we create the prototypes the prototypes are created for information for each state that's why i'm filtering uh, this lld for the host name in the zabbix because just explain very quickly here in the Zabbix the host name here creating the host is the same as the the host name of the state I have the state each state has the host name here is the same as the front, the front name host name uh, Zabbix then I'm filtering the information for each state using this information that is the same as the host name in the Zabbix that's that's why I'm using here host name macro for filtering the states okay okay uh, then I have the dependent items uh, uh, I have the dependent items using a JSON filtering okay I have uh, in this prototype uh, I have a master item prototype that collects data covid 19 data from that state use the filter again 
but this filter is a uh, federal unit. And I have to use federal unit because of the, the key doesn't allow special characters. And for the, the prototype dependent items, I can filter the JSON path for each field. For example, this number of cases, I filter only the field called JSON field called cases. Okay, let's just show very quickly here how I did that. Oh, I, I will access in the latest data, Sao Paulo uh, information. Okay, and I have this is the, oh, this is the master data, master data from Sao Paulo that was created uh, in that low level discover. All right. Formation only some all information. The low level discover filter information for each state. This is a master prototype, uh, master dependent prototype item with formation in Sao Paulo. Then I create one each, one item for each information here. One item for uh, deaths. Um, one night for cases, suspects, discards. But all these items came from this master item. Okay. Oh, just look oh, dependent from the master item. Okay. And all those data, all this data here too, came from. A master master data that is that one. Opa. Oh, came from here. It's three level process actually, you know. Okay, let's go have the data organized here. But plus I got the geolocation reference for each state using the a API open weather map to populate it in the Zabbix inventory. Uh, I'm use the gel localization because I will show um, Grafana dashboard, dashboard that I did and I use a world map Grafana plugin and this is uh, this gel localization will be used by this Grafana plugin. Uh, HTTP uh, agent to I'm using query fields uh, API ID and preprocessing to extract to collect only the field that I want in this JSON. Okay, I have a master item two dependent items using preprocessing. Just look here. Opa. Look here, master item, two dependent items. Let's go back here. Sao Paulo, I have a master item, getting all the gel localization information from Sao Paulo. And with a dependent item that got the item from here, I have large, longitude, latitude. Okay, let's go back with this localization. We have all the latest data uh, that I, sh I just showed, all the information, and number of the cases, suspect, uh, deaths, uh, discarded from each state, uh, created automatically. Uh, I didn't have create, I did not have create any, any manually item. Everything came automatically. Okay, and the geolocalization of Sao Paulo. Okay. This is Zabik's latest data. Okay. Then, finally, I used Grafana to uh, expose, to show all the data with the geolocalization for each state here. Let me show very quickly the real Grafana here. 
I have the Grafana. I have the geolocalization of the, the state. Oh, each state has the number of cases. This is the total. This is the total of cases in Brazil, more than 5 million. And this is the, the, the number, the total of deaths. This is came from Zabbix. Ah, this came from Zabbix for from the inventory. Oh, each host has two fields inventory. Inventory field came from that there. You just finish here the presentation. We have this the total, I think it's the total of the, the table uh, with the, the the numbers of deaths and the case. Okay, I think it's enough for today. We have had enough time. I say take for everybody for the patient. Okay. Yeah, I finish here. Thanks a lot for everybody. Thank you a lot, Victor. I think that was a really nice real-life use case that actually many people at this point in these trying times would be really interested in maybe in implementing, you know, for their own countries or regions and so on. Um, so a couple of questions for you. I hope that you are prepared. Um, so have you created maybe some other similar uh, use cases for Zabbix, you know, with other real-life examples or something like that? You can maybe briefly mention your other projects, maybe to inspire other people, or, you know, maybe they can ask you about them in, in the chat later on. Uh, hi, Arthur. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to you, to Zabbix. It's a pleasure to be here today. Yes, I, uh, I came to another situation. Uh, we, we can uh, extract data to, uh, from any kind of application. Uh, the HTTP agent item uh, is uh, very useful for us because all the applications uh, has a HTTP web server available to extract data. And, uh, the H and we have the preprocessing future uh, allow us to extract extract the, the, the data that we want it means we don't need we don't need any kind of scripting to extract this data and we can connect to any available api http web server uh any kind of application mm -hmm. um thank you um another question have you read about the new item type in 5.2, the script item? And maybe you have some ideas how you can use that because it's quite similar to HTTP agent item, just a bit more complex. To, to be honest, I didn't check this new item. I think this uh, released was, uh, I think it was uh, last week, the new version of- yes, It's very new, yes. Minutes. It's too new for me. I think in the next week I'm gonna check it. Uh, check it. So I think I'm, I'm gonna give you an offer. I would really like for you to check it out, and then maybe you know share your experience or your some some ideas that you may come up on our forums, um, on Reddit, maybe and other social networks. I think that would be really nice. Um, okay, sure. So yeah, take a look at it. Definitely would be useful. Uh, Thank you a lot. It was a really interesting use case, like I said, and I hope to hear from you soon on our other social networks and in upcoming meetups, summit next year, and other events that we do host. Thank you. Thank you, Arthur.